Okay, so here's a short tutorial on how to um, basically create a morph between a solo and ensemble with uh, JXL Brass on two separate instances, of course. You can do three separate instances. Um, I'm going to stop you from doing that, but I'll, yeah, I'll just go ahead and show you real quick. So in this case, I'm going to do two separate instances, um, I'm going to do one solo. So I got solo all three, or you can do solo on solo, which I prefer. And um, let me go in here and... So this one's the ensemble one, this one is the solo one. Sounds good to me. Uh, going over here to ensemble, so. In this case, I'm actually going to blend the two, um, A3 and A6. And I like to do this, just in general. Obviously that sounds really thick in comparison to what you know you'd, you'd kind of normally want with like more tame orchestrations. However, here's where it gets fun. So the trick is here, I'm going to go to the options on both of these. Now that I got a mix I like on both, you don't have to do the double stack thing like I did. Um, but the trick is I'm going to assign both the uh, expressions to a CC. And I'm just going to invert the expression on the solo instrument. So when the CC is down, it's all solo. When CC is up, it's all ensemble. And you're going to want to stay in between the two of them unless you actually do have a straight up solo passage. So um, let me just go ahead and show you real quick. And 
I'm going to edit the curve on this, but you can't see it. Because the window pops up over here. I don't know if there's a way to move it, honestly. But essentially, yeah, I'm just, instead of the expression curve doing this number, it's just doing this number on the solo instrument. Now, um, it's easier to hear with, uh, you know, like the sustains real quick. Okay, I think those volumes kind of make sense. Um, and that's just me adjusting their volume so that they make sense together, I guess. So now if I play some some uh, solo triads, I'm going to start off more solo and kind of blend them into an ensemble, and you can hear the difference. This sounds like three solo trombones and not three trombones playing in an ensemble. So you blend it a little bit into the um, ensemble. And with shorts, it's the same thing. So here's three solo trombones. Here's what I guess would be like fucking 12. But you obviously wouldn't do that. You just blend it in for the triad.
you can hear how, I mean, in this case, it's not perfect, but it, it definitely, um, it's got more of an ensemble sound without sounding too ridiculous. So, hope it helps.